It's Monday, October the 14th, 2013, and class is in session. Just as the title says, uh, it talks about stupid is as stupid does, a uh, quote that comes from Forrest Gump, a great 1990s uh, flick. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, I would, I would encourage you to check it out. Uh, while we're talking about that, and the reason why we're talking about that today is because, you know, Forrest Gump, uh, to the normal eye, is... Uh, we would say has a disability, but because of his disability, he was able to acquire and uh, to accomplish great things. But in today's standards, we we see that because it was a movie not based on any real person, but he went about not really aware of things that you and I normally would be aware of. Which brings me to uh, two books that I've read um, years ago, years ago in my high school days, uh, 1984, or excuse me, college days, 1984. In a brave new world, and a quote, quote that comes from that, uh, especially 1984, is that ignorance is bliss. But the question is: Is ignorance really bliss? Can you really walk around not unaware of, of things and just really kind of just have and have a serendipity type of lifestyle? But the scriptures are very clear. It tells us over in the book of Hosea it says that for my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He tells us also in the book of Proverbs, he tells us that, you know, in all by getting, uh, that knowledge is a principal thing. In all by getting, get an understanding. So, my encouragement to you today is that in all that you do, make sure that you get an understanding. Whether it be on your job, as a parent, as, um, as a teacher, as an educator, uh, as a philanthropist, as a preacher, as a pastor, as a husband, as a wife. As a sister, as a brother, as a husband, uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a father and a mother. Why? Because you need the information. You need to understand that you just can't go through life just floating and just hoping for happen, happenstances to occur. You can't just um, depend on sheer luck. Praise God that you have the favor of God. Praise God that you have the Holy Spirit guiding you and teaching you in all things. But understand that ignorance is not bliss and that... The scriptures are clear that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, not no, just not knowing. It's a shame that there are many people in this world. Think about it. If you were inherited a million dollars and you found out on your deathbed that you had a million dollars inherited to you, you'd be highly upset. Why? For lack of knowledge, because we don't go and research. We don't go and check into things. We just Take people at their word. We don't go and look for it for ourselves. And the same thing with the scriptures. Just as I have already given you several scriptures in just these last two minutes, I encourage you to go and check them out and make sure that they are valid. Just because I say that this verse comes from Hosea, it may not. It may not even say that. Just because I tell you that uh, that knowledge is a principal thing, make sure that's what it says over in the, over in the book that I stated. So just don't take my word for it. Please, I encourage you to go out and look for yourself on the matter. Don't just assume that people are speaking 100%. Always make sure that if it just doesn't sit right with you, go and check it for yourself. Always go back and get an understanding, especially as it pertains to the scriptures. Don't just assume that just because he's the pastor or she's the pastor's wife or she's a deaconess or, or what have you, or just because their, 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 their title makes means that they know what they're talking about it should but always make sure that you check for yourself as well that's my encouragement to you i hope you are blessed it's monday october 14th 2013 and class is dismissed